All right. Three. Wait. Sport mode. Sport mode. Sport mode. Three, two, one, go. guys I want to thank you for coming to the channel if it's your first time smash the subscribe and notifications bell if it's not your first time thanks for coming back drop a comment and smash that like button as well in this video you're going to be seeing a 2002 Saab 93 convertible race a 2003 Saab 93 convertible the black Saab 2002 has 161,000 miles on it and the 2003 has only 27,000 original miles. The car still has the factory brakes from 2003. So check out the following videos of all of the rehab work that I did to it. It's a very rare one of 300 in this spec. And obviously it's the last year that Saab made it. So it will become a collector's item someday in the near future, I believe. So anyways, again, enjoy the video and stay tuned. Hi, right, Alex. Say what's up to the camera. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? So he's gonna drive the 03, and I'm gonna drive mine. All right. Three. Wait. Sport mode. Sport mode. Sport mode. Three, two, one, go. All right. Well, I had him off the line. And then there was a car coming, so we're gonna redo that one. Ready? Three. Sport mode. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three. Snoop Two. One. Go. I think the only thing that was affecting uh, the run was the fact that uh, one side of the road had better traction than the other. I mean, the first time it was pretty even, and the second time, eh, uh, we'll see. What do you think about that last one? Pretty good. Yeah. I think uh, it was pretty even, but then this one started to creep a little bit. Yeah, the new one. Yeah. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. 
what you think, who you think won that. I know it was quick on all those races, but we had to make it quick because obviously we were, you know, not following the rules of the, of the road. However, I'm trying to get arrested by the police. That's right. And this one is not my car, so we had to be careful. Anyways, leave your thoughts below which car you thought was faster. There was three takes there. Um, I think on the last one, to be fair, the 03 uh, was creeping a little bit more than on my 02. Not by much, but by a little bit. And uh, I want to thank Alex. What's up, guys? Guest star. And leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this. We'll see you later. Okay, so in preparation of painting this spoiler and to protect the rest of this beautiful paint, we're gonna remove the spoiler off the trunk. So we remove the rubber bushings that are on the outside of this cover on both sides. It's a 5 uh, of a socket there. And then there's a third one for the center, which is right over here, which I'll take a wrench to, obviously. It's hard to get to, so I'll take a wrench. And that's what that is to take that off. All right, so. Automotive touch-up paint provided me this paint prep surface wipe. So we're gonna go ahead and just degrease this surface. Make sure it's nice and dry when it's done. All right. So while that's drying, I will continue to shake up the spray can. All right, the other tool that I purchased, which I'll link below from Amazon, which is key for this, is this can gun spray. I'll hook the spray can to the top there and have a nice spray. My hands won't hurt, my hands will stay clean, and hopefully we get a nice even coat. So I'm gonna let that dry, shake the can, and we'd be good to go. We already have a nice clean coat on this thing. It really didn't need that much. I'm gonna go ahead and spray one more coat here in about a few minutes. And then I'll let it set and dry, and then we'll come back and do a quick clear. That was all it needed. Wow, guys, this was honestly the best purchase I've ever made in terms of a paint booth on small items like this. This is great. I mean, you can fit a whole car bumper in here if I needed to. Also, obviously it's raining. It's protected. It's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. But also this rain, this, uh, this, this spray gun thing for the aerosol can. I mean, look how nice and even this, uh, this coat came on. Like, real nice. Like, a few little imp imperfections, but you can probably get some of them out. Really nice. Came out really nice. All right, update. Here's the update. We just did our final coat, and as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. Everything came on really nice and smooth. I had one hiccup, but I just went in there and did a little wet sand, took it off, and repainted one more time. This is like really, really good. So now we're gonna take my favorite, Spray Max 2K Clear Coat. It's a two-stage coat. I'll take this little red dot, the, this little red button, place it on the bottom, which will release the hardener. That gives you 48 hours, uh, 48 hours to use this, uh, and this actually really comes out nice and smooth. This clear coat, if it's done right. So hopefully, what we'll do is spray it on there nicely, and then we'll do about two to three coats. Do a little wet sanding. It should be good to go. And it looks like it's good. So, a couple inches away. I do a little overlap there. Do one more, and then I'll take a break.
All right. Hi guys. How are you? Yeah, looks pretty good. Can't you tell? So I'm gonna let this set. I already said this. But we're going to put this uh, on the car in the next couple days. You can see how nice and glossy that clear coat is. And once I give it a nice buff, this thing is going to look OEM.